All right. Good afternoon. We are on 2-8 today, which we are still working on the subtraction facts. Um, but today we are subtracting numbers that have 0 in them. So we've got to be cautious of that when we are looking at our top numbers to make sure that the bigger number is on top. So I'm going to do a couple of them with you, and the rest you can do for homework. Uh, let's look at the first one here. Now, we always want to double check when we're doing any type of a problem to make sure that it's either subtraction or plus. So this one is subtraction. So whenever we do a subtraction problem, we always check the top number, and we always start with the ones place. So in this first one, if we look at the top number, this is a 6. So the bigger number is on the top. Or as I like to say in class, the big brother is on the top bunk. The 6-year-old is. The 5-year-old's on the bottom bunk. So we do not need to borrow on this one. We can go ahead and just subtract straight down. Remember, when we subtract, we always subtract down. So 6 take away 5 is 1. And then we're going to look at the tens place. With the tens place, we have a 0 in that tens place, which means that uh, we do need to borrow. Okay, so. 0 is obviously smaller than 4, and we have to have the bigger number on top. So we're going to go to the neighbor. Okay. Now remember, when we're borrowing, you can only borrow from your neighbor. So this zero can, this uh, number in the tens place can only go to the hundreds place to borrow. Okay. And I'll explain that in the next problem. But he's going to go to the 9. The 9 becomes an 8, and the 0 becomes a 10. So we can go ahead and subtract. 10 take away 4 is 6, and 8 take away nothing is 8. Okay. okay, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead over here to number 3. With number 3, we are definitely subtracting across the zeros. 4,000 take away 2,557. So on this particular problem, of course, we again want to start by checking the sign. It is subtract, and then we check the top number in the ones place. It is a zero, so we have to borrow. But here's the trick. We cannot borrow from the tens place because the tens place is a zero. The tens place cannot borrow from the hundreds place because that's a zero. So we have to go all the way over to the thousands place. And we're going to borrow from the thousands place, and that will become a three. Now this is where you need to be careful. The number that we're borrowing from the thousands place is not going to go all the way over here to the ones place. It does not. Instead, it has to go to its neighbor. You can only borrow from your neighbor. So the number that we borrowed from the thousands place will go to the hundreds place. But that's okay because now the tens place can borrow from the hundreds place. So this 10 becomes a 9 and we put that one we borrowed over in the tens place. Which is great because now the ones place can borrow from the tens place. So the tens becomes a 9 and now the ones place has a 10 in it. So now we can go ahead and subtract all the way across. 10 take away 7 is 3. 9 take away 5 is 4. 9 take away 5 again is 4. And 3 take away 2 is 1. So our answer is 1,443. Go ahead and do the remainder of the problems on the practice side. Um, I would love to see you go ahead and do number 12 at the bottom too, the word problem. Good luck. You guys are going to do awesome. I will see you tomorrow.